Hey everyone, welcome to Software Testing Mentor and RCV Academy. Today I am here to cover another important topic about the career and relation of the package with the career and whether you need to be a good programmer or having a programming skill is the only way to get into IT. So I'm going to cover the career options that are available in IT which do not require coding. So some of the IT jobs without coding skills and still you can get good packages there, right? So in IT, coding or programming is sort of thought that it is the only thing that is done within the IT industry, but that's not true. Very minimal percentage of the IT workforce actually codes. There are so many other profiles and jobs out there in IT industry which require no coding or very minimal coding, right? So it's not that you will be required to write a lot of code. So whatever I'm going to show or the profiles I'm going to discuss here either require no coding at all or if they require that will be very minimal which is easy for anyone to learn and understand. Okay. So the first sort of role or the application or tool that you can learn which has very high demand in IT industry and doesn't require coding skills is Salesforce, right? So Salesforce is one of the CRMs. Okay. So the first one is Salesforce. Now Salesforce is one of the very popular CRM tool out there, right? And if you are looking for a job in Salesforce, Salesforce administration is one of the job that will not require any of the coding skills at all. So what you need to do is you need to learn Salesforce and Salesforce has the developer account. So basically on Salesforce, you can sign up for the developer account and start learning Salesforce on their website site itself okay so it is pretty easy to start learning Salesforce so even if you are a fresher or a person who is already working in some sort of profile say for example tech support or any other profile and want to switch to Salesforce you can switch anytime even if you are from some other company or domain you can still learn Salesforce and get into it so Salesforce admin is what you should be looking for if you're not at all interested into coding skills. But if you want to learn a little bit of coding as well, there are many other options in Salesforce that you can look for. And Salesforce is a very highly paid job. You can, you can get specific Salesforce jobs only on the basis of knowledge of Salesforce. Okay. So if you know Salesforce, there are jobs there in the market, whether it's India, whether it is abroad, right? So in Australia, I have seen Salesforce in such a high high demand that people from other domains, if they know about Salesforce, they are certified in Salesforce, they get job in Salesforce. Okay. The second one is very popular here in Australia as well and in, Indi in India, Pega. Okay. So Pega is the business process management tool. Okay. Wherein you do not need to do any coding. So even Pega developer or the other profiles in the Pega tool space do not require a lot of coding skills unless until you are actually developing Pega, right? So if you are using Pega to define the business processes, it's more of a simple drag and drop sort of facility within Pega to define those business process workflows. Now, if you know programming or if you know the concepts of programming and the fundamentals, you will find Pega a lot easier. But even if you don't have those skills, it is very easy to go ahead and start learning Pega. It will take time. It's not that something you can start today and within a month or two, you will be able to learn everything. But yes, within a month or two, you will be able to do at least one or two certifications in Salesforce or in Pega. And that will give you a lot more confidence to take that relevant path. So this is another very high demand tool here in Australia. I'm pretty sure it is. it has such a high recruitment rates and the packages are really good in Pega and Salesforce. So that's why I have put these at the top. And if they are demand, if their demand is globally, then definitely in India, the packages of these two on an average, usually people get somewhere between eight to 20 lakhs in the initial sort of phases, right? Or if you are absolute fresher and you get into it, then you get like five lakhs or six lakhs. That's the starting sort of package uh, in Indian rupees and goes up to you know, like 30, 35, 40 K depending on how ahead you reach into that career. Okay. In Australia, these profiles to start with, if you are a beginner, still or an average almost 90 to 100k 
hundred thousand dollars every year and if you are the senior person it goes a lot more 150 160 up to 200 and more than 200 so there is a lot more possibility in these two areas okay now coming to the third one which is sap okay now we don't need any introduction about sap another crm and there are so many modules within sap now there is there are some modules which will require some sort of coding but majority of the sap modules that are there won't require any coding so in this one you can start if you are keen to start some it job which requires no coding sap is another good option to look and explore and see what modules are there which won't require that much coding and you can basically start picking up sap and try to figure out job there will be certifications for sap that you can target and go ahead with fourth one is on the same note siebel right so siebel is another crm similar to what sap is and that is another good opportunity for the people who are not from the coding background or programming background fifth one is the rpa which is getting hot nowadays which is robotic process automation okay now robotic process automation rpa there are many tools out there even pega has the rpa tool um, ui path is there automation anywhere so there are many rpa tools out there and these platform or rpa platforms don't require you to code anything don't require you to write any sort of programming logic. You can perform all the process automation tasks within the RPA tool. Even you can do the test automation within using the RPA tools. And I'll be coming up with some of the courses using RPA tools to do the test automation. And with these RPA tool, you do not need any coding skills or detailed coding skill. And it will be easy for you to pick up and understand RPA tools and go ahead and build the career into it. And RPA jobs are also highly paid and you can build a really good career in the RPA space as well. Moving on to the next one is the Power BI. Okay, so Power BI or Tableau. Okay, now these tools or these category of tools are the data visualization tools, right? So these are the data visualization. So once you have the big set of data and now we know in the current scenario, data is everywhere, right? Amazon or any other shopping website or any website or app that you see, it's all about data, how the data is being utilized. That's important. So visualizing that data to make meaningful decisions is what these Power BI and Tableau do. So these are the data visualization tools that are used to visualize the data. So you pull the data, which is in the raw format or any uh, format from either SQL or any other database systems, and then visualize it to make meaningful decisions. So for example, when you do a shopping on amazon.com, right? How does Amazon know that you shop these sort of item or you had searched for these sort of items? So all of this happens behind the scene based on your search criteria. That search criteria is fed back into the data warehouse, data visualization tool, uh, help you to visualize the data and make meaningful decisions like this particular person or people in this demography search for this particular item more or they are looking for this sort of thing or this is their festival. So we need to show or we need to display these sort of advertisements to them, right? So th these jobs are not something which are completely uh, without coding. There will be some sort of uh, technical skills that will be required in the Power BI and uh, Tableau. But to start with, you can just start learning Power BI and Tableau and eventually whatever is required, you will be able to pick up. Okay, it's not that deep that you need to go and learn data structures and algorithm and uh, write your own algorithm. It, it won't be that hard at all, okay? Now, after this Power BI and Tableau, uh, if you look for any system admin jobs, okay, system admin, it, whether it's network administration or system administration, these jobs will not require deep programming skills. They might require some sort of scripting, for example, Python scripting or shell scripting, etc. right? So uh, Python might be required. It, it will be helpful, but shell scripting is something which will be you know, helpful and people do in that space. So if you are in that system admin or network admin, you definitely go ahead and learn uh, the shell scripting, batch scripting and all. Okay. So that is another option which doesn't require too much of the coding skills. Now coming to the next one is software testing, right? So we are the software testing people 
and software testing is also the field which not necessarily will require coding or heavy programming skills. Now many people will argue that software testing has the automation in it and it will require the programming skill or without programming skill you can't survive in there but that's not correct. If you have programming skills that's a bonus because you then know the testing and then you also can automate the test cases that are repetitive and need to be automated. So if you have the skills of programming that's an added bonus but to start with in software testing you do not necessarily need to know programming and coding and not everyone in software testing field is good at programming. So there are many people who are subject matter expert, they know good about domain, they know how systems work and are integrated and they are at a different level or a subject matter expert and they focus on different aspects of the testing, right? Not only in, the, in terms of automation. So software testing is another sort of field you can target. Even though you do not know programming, you need to focus on other skills that are required to succeed in software testing. For example, becoming the subject matter expert, knowing the domain or understanding or learning the test management skill, leading skills, analytical thinking, all of that is required, right? So you can build a career in software testing without coding skills as well. Now, the ninth one is any of the support jobs, right? So support. Now support engineer jobs are another good ones wherein you can initial level 1 and level 2 support usually do not require you to resolve any sort of queries programmatically right if you are able to configure and resolve few things that's where it's good and you do not need to write the code or fix the issue in level 3 and above it might be required that you are required to debug and see the code and uh, where the issue is do the root cause analysis but then fixing still goes to the development team so l3 in engineers uh, you can rise in support engineer level up to l3 and it doesn't matter whether you are in support or in development at one level at one point of time you will be sort of e paid equally as other developers and managers in other departments as well okay the tenth one is the database administrator okay so database admins now this database admin so it won't require any sort of programming skills but you will need sql knowledge database knowledge and all of that in details uh, to be the database administrator and administer the databases within the organizations okay so these are some of the jobs that are there in the market and this is just a few of those right so th this is just a brief or whatever is going hot in the market at the moment but then there are so many other jobs as well which do not require coding skills so in an IT company it's not necessary whosoever is working in IT industry needs to know coding or programming right so there are so many other tools technologies and other roles and profiles in IT industry that you can pick and build your career easily into the IT. Package wise, these profiles or packages or tools pay you equally well as compared to any other developer or person who is writing algorithms and writing code. Sometimes people in these fields, Salesforce, Pega, SAP, get paid even a lot more than a Java developer, than a Python developer. Okay, So these guys get even a lot more many times and once you reach that level, it becomes real easy to pick you, pick up other skills that are required for you to excel in any of these fields okay so that's all about uh, this particular video on how to get job without coding skills and that too with good package so these are some of the jobs go ahead and research and target if you are not very keen to learn programming there are options that you can search for so i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching